Good morning, this is Manu Alia from uh, Continuum Global Asset Management uh, bringing you the market commentary on August 6th. Well, this morning uh, there was unemployment news which wasn't very, uh, very good and obviously the markets are down today. Uh, basically, the non-farm payroll news was on the negative side. Um, we saw a loss of jobs of about 131,000 for the month of July, which was uh, about 5,000, 6,000 jobs, job losses more than expectation. Well, in my mind, that's just a rounding error, but obviously the markets didn't treat that well and uh, the markets took that very negatively uh, and as we speak I believe the markets are down about 140 points or so. Um, having said that I believe that this phenomena should be uh, looked at a little bit differently. Yeah, you always hear that the paradigm has shifted this is different this time but I believe that if you look at the facts um, one history doesn't always repeat itself exactly uh, and secondly, you've got to look at what has happened, what has evolved in the business global environment. Now, I think that the, the, the focus on the jobs number and unemployment is a very important one, but people forget one thing. Even though we've lost uh, seven, eight million jobs over the last two years, we have to realize that if the economy starts to improve, all of, the jo jo all of those jobs are not going to just come back because there's another phenomena that is happening, and that is the emergence of uh, economies like uh, China, India, Brazil, um, Southeast Asian economies like Malaysia, Thailand, and so on and so forth. Now, all of these regions are um, providing cheap and efficient labor to the world. Unfortunately, countries like the U.S. and regions in Europe will have to recalibrate their expectations from themselves. And I've been saying this for a very long time, that there will be an adjustment in the cost of living. So somebody who was working for <clears throat> seventy-five dollars or $100,000 a year will have to say, okay, my job in India or China is commanding a $25,000 salary. I have to either go to another uh, industry or recalibrate my expectations. And I think that's what's happening. If you look at the industry, if you look at the earnings of the last quarter, which is the second quarter in the U.S., on an average, uh, U.S. corporations have increased their earnings by 46% based on last year's second quarter. I think, I think that's a great improvement. Um, Industries like the, the sector, financial sector, has increased uh, earnings by threefold. Uh, technology, materials, and consumer discretionaries have increased their uh, earnings anywhere between 70 to 90 percent. Why do you think there's such a disconnect? We, we're not uh, gaining on jobs, but the earnings numbers are coming better. I think it's a, it's a very simple uh, inference that companies are becoming a lot more efficient. Companies are cutting down on cost. They are basically going back to basics and being honest with their business models. And I think this is, this is great. I mean, America has always been a resilient economy, and this is what they're doing. This is a time to take a step back, to move two steps forward. Having said that, if... You look at our most recent newsletter, which is the August issue, we project um, earnings for the year 2011 at about $80 for the Standard & Poor 500 companies. Um, in addition to that, if you look at the historical price earnings multiple and you multiply the price earnings multiple to the earnings, we believe that the market has another 15 to 20 percent over the next 12 months to gain and we don't say that lightly we believe that if investors look at uh, dividend paying stocks uh, and we've mentioned these stocks in the in the past uh, companies in the telecom sector like AT&T and Verizon companies in um, the pharmaceutical sector like Pfizer um, some of the technology companies we believe that a combination of dividends and potential growth will provide investors with very handsome results. 
Obviously, each investor is different, and our disclaimer is that any companies that we mention in this commentary are not recommendations, but only for illustration purposes. If you'd like to know more about our philosophy or have questions about the commentary or our newsletters, please um, uh, reach out to us through our website, www.cgamadvisor.com. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for listening, and um, happy trading.